Anytime Chris Pratt does something, he could sneeze, cough, maybe wave hello at somebody. Anything he does, people come after him. I saw this, and I wasn't shocked because this happens all the time. A Chris Pratt's new movie, The Terminal List, for Amazon Prime, getting some bad reviews because, well, apparently the character that he plays is conservative. How dare you? Because characters are only allowed to have one way of thinking in modern Hollywood. Here's what they say at the playlist. Will the target audience for the Terminalist care that it should be better? Jack Carr is a strong right-wing personality. The source material here apparently contains a number of conservative talking points and liberal takedowns that should have been reduced, even if one could still sense the project's political stance. Yeah, definitely. You got to take those down because it's wrong to go against any of that line of thinking in Hollywood. And there's not a lot of television that appeals to that audience. That's true. A big-budget action series that plays to Fox News viewers feels like a slam dunk for Prime Video, especially with the timing of an Independence Day premiere. After fireworks, BBQ, and a few beers, it should get the job done with the same brutal simplicity as its protagonist. It's it's too bad that no one will remember it by the end of summer. D+. Uh, What's funny about this is the original headline for this, the Terminal List Review, Chris Pratt stars in a lethally dull thriller from Prime Video. The original headline, it used to say something about how it's Chris Pratt starring in a lethally dull uh, movie that will only appeal to people on the right. It's like, why would you even put, that's why they took that out of the headline, by the way. So, slamming his movie again. Like, they do this all the time. I'm surprised they haven't slammed Jurassic Park because that movie's made a a ton of money over the past couple of weeks. Another success for Chris Pratt. I think they hate his success. They definitely just want to go after him for everything. Like, look at this. So, I saw this at uh, geeksandgamers.com. Chris Pratt is a cool dad. Twitter melts down. So now they're going after him because he wants to spend time with his son. I'm not kidding. He put out something that he was going to do with his son, Jack. He was going to watch 10 days of movies. 10 days, 10 movies. So why does he want to do this? Obviously, these 10 movies mean something to him. They're probably some of his favorite movies. And now he wants to share them with his son. And because of that, Twitter, of course, melts down. Oh, he shouldn't be watching those movies with his kid. Bunch of childless weirdos that don't have kids telling someone else what they need to do with their kids. Sounds familiar. Typical uh, far leftist point right there, by the way. Chris Pratt sparked a debate again this time. It was something he said during an appearance on Smartless, a podcast hosted by Jason Bateman, Sean Hayes, and Will Arnett. By the way, Chris Pratt hates... uh, People that have a certain identity so much that he appeared on a a podcast hosted by Sean Hayes. That's a really good point, by the way. They always try to say he doesn't like LGBT people, but yet he hangs out with them. When asked about his plans for the summer, Pratt said that he'll be taking his nine-year-old son Jack on a camping trip during which he'll show him 10 particular movies. I'm going to show him these 10 movies. I've got 10 days. 10 movies, it's going to be a coming-of-age summer. The films on Pratt's list are First Blood. That's the first Rambo movie. By the way, awesome movie. If you've never seen it, you should watch it. Dumb and Dumber, hilarious movie. White Fang, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Rudy, Toy Soldiers, Red Dawn, Bloodsport, hell yeah. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Monty Python in the Holy Grail. Classic, classic movie. So Chris Pratt wants to spend time with his son, Jack. That's basically what this is. I want to watch some of my favorite movies with my son so that he could enjoy the things that I like. That's called good parenting and bonding with your child, which these people don't understand because they're always looking for a reason to go after people. But yeah, this is cool. A dad hanging out with his son. And I know most of the people that come after him uh, probably never had a father figure (laughs) to hang out with them, which is sad. But let's take a look at some of these replies. 
first blood, blood sport. F, I wouldn't subject a 10 year old to dumb and dumber. Never mind, mother effing first blood. I've watched a lot of movies a hell of a lot younger than I should have, but that's because I had no damn supervision whatsoever. And then this person says, I wonder what political party he's a part of. Of course, because you're not allowed to be anything but a leftist in Hollywood. This is why they always go after him constantly. And I'll share it again. They tried to cancel the man once. They tried to cancel him once because a Pratt engine fell off a plane. And because that was trending, they decided to try to cancel him again. Look at this one. Jesus, he's such a Republican because he likes these movies. Is he even allowed to let a nine-year-old watch two rated all movies? Goaded effing list. This is a terrible list of movies to show a kid. No, RoboCop. It says, that list is awesome. At what age did Gen X watch these movies? I watched them at a young age too. WTF. This one doesn't seem that bad. It is a good list. I, I think it's fine. It's like just doing some stuff with your kid. But a lot of people, I, I think this one's a joke, by the way. This one right here, this is a terrible list of movies. No RoboCop. No, maybe not. I mean, I watched most of these movies when I was a kid. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, his son is like 10, can figure it out. You know, it's just uh, these people just want to come after him for whatever he does. So now he's a bad father for spending time with his child. It's disgusting that they even go after his kid. Like, he just does a little bit of an interview and says, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching some of my favorite movies that I enjoyed growing up because all these are old movies. So he probably watched all these movies growing up, and now I want to I show my kid the things that I loved, and maybe we can enjoy these movies forever. Like, oh, you're coming over 20 years from now? We can, we can watch Rambo. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a good bonding experience. These people don't understand because they don't want to bond with anybody. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear your opinions. How do you feel about them going after him again? It's a constant, constant thing. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Also, check out my locals. There's a link in the description. Really cool place. Building a community over there. You should come hang out. It's free. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.